G'day guys, it's Clay here. Great to have you joining us in part four, the final episode of this four-part Rasta Ball Buster series, when my friend Kim and my son Yona and our dogs go into the hills to try and get some wild pork dog and knife styles. Now in part four, there'll be some blood, there'll be killing, and choppy dog does get hurt, and there'll probably be some swearing too. So if you're oversensitive to any of that stuff, then tune out now. But if you understand the concept of hunting this way, then come with me. You stop here, boy. I need you to grab the pig. Let's have a quick look at what happened in the last three episodes. He's a Rastabar Buster. Dreadlock Hunter. Rastafarian. He's no vegetarian. Good boy. Good job. We're so lucky to have a friend like Kim. I really am blessed. There's no other way to put it. Good morning, how you going? Oh, we've all had a good sleep, eh, son? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gonna meet up with Kim this morning. Gonna take Poe and Choppy and leave Tinks and Bob in the truck. Poe and Choppy racing around the hill at 100 mile an hour. Kim's waited down the bottom of the hill. Choppy just shot up here. Can we just go have a look? Choppy and Poe appeared right over into the next gully. Obviously comes tracking them, but she was waiting here for us, but she's gone. I'm guessing she's following me. Oh. Keep your eyes on the hill, so see something. We're barking up here. Poe and Choppy. Got a pig tree up here. The ship that he goes through. The barrel up here, we've got a big barrel up here, but it's steep as fuck. We're going through some really bluffy country, and sheer drops below us, so just going very slowly. How's it looking, son? Okay, good. Kim's giving us details below. Um, Still baiting. Still got it. Yeah, the dog's still baiting, so let's push up to that point. 
target by a wolf. Beauty. You did well, boy. Looks like a barrow, right? Woo! <laughs> Good dogs. Choppy came off, eh? Yeah. He's getting beaten up. Yeah. I think I heard him yelp. <sighs> Man. That was hard, Yaka. Good dog, Poe. Choppy come. Let's look at Choppy, see what he's like. Chubby come. Chubby come. Pa was actually holding. Where's Choppy? Chubby come. Chubby come. I know. Oh, don't know where Choppy is. Well, that was the hardest pig so far, eh, boy? Yeah. Hard yakker. Anyway, it's a good boar. I don't know about where Choppy is. Somewhere down here. Yeah, because we don't know what the status of Choppy is. She's somewhere down the scrub. Whoop the guts out of this. <coughs> we'll get back down that bluff and try and go down without falling down. That's a good boar. Oh, awesome. Okay. Beast could have really done some damage to Choppy. Good girl, Poe. Let's have a look at Poe. You okay, Poe? You get a few prongs in you. You alright, girl? Good girl, Poe. Good girl. We well, only found Choppy in the bushes over there sitting down. Show me where he's hurt, son. Yeah, here. Got a prong there. One there. there. Oh, yep. There's one on the inside of his One on the inside. Oh, it's, ooh, it's a nasty it's one. Big. Yeah. Okay, what else we got? Oh, there's one on this leaf. Oh, oh, shit, he has two, he's been. There's a decent one under there. Oh, yeah, that missed the collar. He's got one on his leg That's here, too. There. Fuck, he's full of holes. Oh, he's got his back legs being bloody damaged, too. Yeah. It's quite big enough to probably carry him down. Oh. But hey, he's not going to die. There's nothing life threatening. I don't think so. I think he's, there's nothing around his. If you'd have a look under his lungs, mm. there's nothing under there, is it? Oh, yeah. Jeez, this one here is close to his quarter artery, it's just below it. Yeah. Let's just check his gums and see what he's like. <sighs> no, he's got good, good blood returning to his gums. He's not going to bleed out and he's standing up. Fuck, he's full of holes. <laughs> right. You have to carry him down through that scrub, it'll be hard. I'll take the pig and I'll take the rifle. You take Choppy, yeah? Just straight down? Straight down, yep. Come see straight down. Right. Oh, you might fall over, but uh, see you go, boy. 
I've done it before with Chun. Just go down there. If you're going to fall, then um, grab something and just let the dog go. Don't worry about the dog. Look after yourself. There's a bluff here. Yeah. Look after yourself first. If you do, there's look at that bluff area. I'll be behind you. Chuppy come, Chuppy come. Well, he's walking, he's full of holes, but he's walking. Good boy, Chuppy. Still got enough adrenaline in, eh? Good boy, Chuppy. Chuppy come, come on. You're all good, aren't you, Pa, eh? Come on. Drink. Down on the road. Good job, Yona. Good job, Kim. Kim's my uh, silent hunting guide. She's not actually with me but she's there with me in spirit. Whenever she tells me there's a pig somewhere, never, ever, ever is there not. It's a high expectation for any other hunting guide to try and keep up with. We haven't had a fail, not once. The result's really good. So, uh, Choppy's got a few holes, but he's walking. He needs some attention. Well, timing couldn't be better. It's just starting to piss down. The time is two o'clock. We're driving out of the block. We caught four pigs with our dogs this weekend. And another uh, one with Kim this morning. She actually got two this weekend. She's going to give me one to take to Nelson. So I've just uh, put a message on Facebook, but we're still out of range. So when we go into range, I've said, basically, anybody that needs pork, I can drop you a pig off in Nelson today because we sure as hell don't need to go home with six pigs when she gives us the ball she got yesterday. <laughs> the truck feels heavy and uh, I'm not used to it. The dogs were phenomenal this weekend. Choppy was just a legend. He, Got to learn to keep off the sharp end more though because he's full of holes, so he'll need some attention when we get home. Poe's got what a bit in there, that's all. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just an amazing weekend. Doesn't get any better. Makes up for all the shitty ones I've had, eh, son? Yeah. Yeah, and my boy, for a non hunter, he was phenomenal. That boar today, we wouldn't have got if it wasn't for you because it had beaten up Choppy and it was just starting to break when you got there wasn't it? Like Poe was still holding it, just by itself, just Poe on it and it was a scrappy bastard with good tusks so yeah he was up in front of me and I was struggling and he did a phenomenal job carrying out you did a good job yesterday too boy for a non-hunter you did, you, you're pretty bloody amazing actually so tell me what was the best part of the weekend so far? Watching that really big black and white thing Right, yeah. Running That's cool. Yeah, you spotted that one too. It was cool, eh? Yeah, yeah. Just doing its thing. Just doing its thing, yeah. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed that, it was a buzz. I like seeing pigs walk around in the wild, eh? And do anything. But they are destructive creatures. They are very, um, very destructive creatures to everything. So they need to be culled and they need to be eaten. I'm looking too happy at all. I need to get some antibiotics into him ASAP and a bit of care. But he's not internally bleeding. Hey, a chop chop. Still got good coloration in the gums and blood running back in there. So, yeah, he's good. Just a bit sore. Good boy, Choppy. Right, I'm going to give him some more water. He's lost a little bit of blood, so it's important to keep his hydration up. There's the boy, eh? Good boy, Choppy. Good boy. 
Well, we've managed to give all the pigs away. Have they all gone now, son? Yep. He's still a little wet, but I think I saw one slide up the roof. <laughs> so, just get a check. Fucking hell. This could be embarrassing if one's gone. Stay there, Poe, stay. Oh no, they're all still there. Sweet as. Six little piggies. You know, they're all still there, boy. So, young Smasher's taking this one away. <laughs> Can you handle it? Yep. Don't drop it on your foot. Kim caught that pig. Oh, yeah? Yep. Be a nice chew on there, boy. Oh, it's not going, it's going to the back of mum's car again. Oh, the poor old Master Demio. <laughs> you going to squeeze it on there? Should do. Jeez. Oh, it's a tight fit. <laughs> Sounds like you got yourself a pig dog out the back there, bro. Get a little chihuahua. <laughs> hey, good to see you, man, and well done. See you too, thanks. So you were undefeated all season with the rugby now? Oh, yeah, we still got two games to go. One in Christchurch, we leave Friday morning. Yeah. And then one in Nelson. Happy days. Yeah, and that's the only Nelson game we got. <laughs> I reckon it's all the pig hunting that's got you fit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're missing you though, you have to come out with us again soon. Yeah. Alright, see you later. See ya. So we're going to drop off pig number five to Bryn that works at Building Supplies at Mega. Probably gone the wrong way getting in here looking at the uh, arrows. And you're dropping it off on a place where you keep out of the rain. Sorry bro, a bit of blood on the uh, concrete. Blackie. So what are you going to do with it bro? You're going to uh... eat it. Yeah, but how are you going to cook it? Uh, well, we were talking about a spit roast for ages, but the whole animal, I think we'll go and see see if Jenny will give it a chop up and see what she reckons to do out of it. Well, if you're making a spit roast, then you want to put the whole lot on a spit, don't you? But well, yeah. That's the theory, but everyone's like, oh, we could do a honey, oh, we could do that. And I'm like, well, I like the idea of setting a fire under it and leaving it for a little while and having a couple of beers, but... Bloody oath. If you want to invest in time in it, you can. Yeah. Oh, it's yours anyway, mate. Oh, you want me to throw it in the back seat, eh? Yeah, it's the back seat. No, officer, it's not a dead body. <laughs> not a human one, is it? Hey, bro, I'll we'll see you later. I'm going to carry on. Yeah. See you later. If you ever need someone to come and run around carrying something, you're my man. Yeah, yeah, I'll hold you to that. See you later, bro. Cheers, bro. Have a good one. So, pick number three is going to Knuckles. He's somewhere around here, I think. Knuckles has got a new car. It's not a baddie. Yeah. California. Go right, mate? Yeah, goes well. Mm -hmm. So you went to Westport on it? <laughs> yeah, until it fucked the gearbox. What happened? Uh, we got to half an hour to Westport and a bolt flew out of the gearbox. <laughs> and mum found it halfway up the road, so... G'day, friend. He's a nice boy, bro. Okay, you take him, mate. He's yours. Thank you. Okay. The feet G'day, how you going? You are right? Put you some pork. You gonna take him back to the farm tomorrow and cut him up? Yeah. Is this where you're staying, mate? No, that's not where I'm staying. No, here right now when you're here. Oh, no, this leaks like a sieve. Oh, yeah? I'm on the side at the moment. Okay, bro. Hey, good to see you, man. I gotta carry on. See ya. Yeah, see ya, mate. Well, pig number four, I'm dropping off here at my mate Tim's place. And I phoned the vet. And uh, he's gonna take care of choppy and drop him off, so he'll be the last drop off. He's asleep in the back and he's looking all right. So last pig I'm dropping off to Andrea. He's got a couple of friends, I think they're on a house bus or something. There you go. How's it going? You want some pork? Yeah, awesome. Hey there. Ollie. What's your name? Ollie. Ollie, your friends yeah. of Andrea. Andrea yeah. Get it, bro. Thank you. He's the um, butcher and then he'll oh, he's a butcher. few chops. He doesn't even eat meat. <laughs> you don't eat meat? Oh, not really. I'm not really a big pork fan. Okay. I, I like goat though. Goat's good. I yeah. love goat. Yeah. Yeah. Braver. Yeah. It's my favourite. <laughs> Sweet ass. Yeah, cool. I've got a, uh, a YouTube channel, so you're on it. Um, oh, it's called Clay Talk Stories. <laughs> Check this guy out. He looks awesome. He's got a really fucking awesome look. Is that natural grow in the top there? Yeah, oh, come on. You designed it that way. Yeah? Nah. I used, to, I used to have a bed that uh, was quite as long as that, but it wasn't mm -hmm. quite as uh, as manly. Anyway, uh, 
we'll get this pig off the back for you guys. Sure. Anyway, the Thanks rain's come. the rain's coming down at my camera, so uh, I'll let you guys take your pig and I'll fuck off and get my dog to the vet. We'll see you later. Awesome. Cheers. Grab it, mate. It's yours. Awesome. You gonna give him a hand? Oh, you got your good clothes on. Oh, he's strong. He's Can he handle it? I'm vegetarian. He's strong. Oh, you're vegetarian. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even gonna eat any of this. Oh, what a. Oh, shit. I'll give you some coffee, sir. Okay, bro. All right. Enjoy. See you later, bro. Right Thank you. Nice one. Cheers. Almost home. Well, it's been three weeks now since Choppy got beaten up, and I bet you want to know how he's doing. Let's check him out, he's in the back of the truck. Hey, Choppy. G'day, mate. How you going? Hey. Good dog. Well, that was the main scar he got was in there, and it actually come right through here underneath, but not a mark at all. And uh, the rest is just now scar tissue. Stay there, boy, stay. He's a filthy mangy mutt Rolls and rotten guts Still we call dog the man's best friend Well she's no pedigree She likes to drink where people poo and wait Still we call dog the man's best friend He dropped the turd on mother's roses To father's garden hoses Still we call dog the man's best friend he came from the poor side of town He came from the bloody pound From the bloody pound On sheep shit he likes to munch Then he'll spew it up and eat it for lunch He's still we call dog the man's best friend He'll lick his bum and clean himself Then come and kiss you on the mouth Still we call dog a man's best friend When he wants to come inside and you let him in You can guarantee that he'll wanna go outside again If you invite your boss for tea, sure he'll try and hump a knee. Still we call dog the man's best friend. When you dress for town in your tidy drawers, he'll jump up with his muddy paws. Still we call dog the man's best friend. Looks as guilty as sin when she takes a poo, but you do it right in public in front of you. Still we call dog the man's best friend. But if you locked him in the boot of your car with your wife and went off and got drunk, who's gonna be the happiest to see you? Later on you get back and open the trunk. He'll stay loyal if you're rich or poor, ugly as sin and you fart and snore, and that's why we call dog man's best friend. That's why we call dog man's best friend. That's why we call dog man's best friend. Scars are starting to heal up pretty good now. Almost back to new, aren't you? Almost back to your normal naughty self. And as you go away, he's winning those rabbits. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, Rusted Ball Buster series. We enjoyed making it for you. It was a lot of work, but it was worth it. Big hearty thank you to Kim Swan for sharing a block and to her man Possum for sharing your home. Great to see you guys. A hearty thank you to Tony at Waikara Moana. Check out his YouTube site, great hunting site. Thanks to my son, Yona, for putting up with Dad and making you do all the hard yards. Thanks to you guys for joining us. A massive hearty thank you to all my patrons on Patreon that subscribe and also contribute to this YouTube channel. Without you, couldn't do it. Thanks a lot. It's as little as $2 a month to join up, so if you're not joined up, consider, because it really helps me to do this. All right, that's enough talk. Take it easy. Be good. And if you can't be good, then... Be careful. You be careful, mate. Don't chase those rabbits. Go on, off you go. Away you go. You can go now. We're finished filming. <laughs> I don't want to kiss. <laughs> He's been trying to bugger off the whole time, and then I tell him to go, and he wants to hang around. Typical.
Come on. 